All right, it is nine in the morning and I'm in my driveway. It is 32 degrees outside according to the thermometer. I have uh, the Porsche thermometer. I have 81% charge and 167 miles of range. And um, I'm about to go on a bit of a trip. Nothing too super long, more of a, how is this thing like in the winter? Is there some uh, range anxiety that creeps up that I need to worry about, things like that. But I have to say, I'm already feeling the benefits of having an electric car. I have, I all I did was pull out of the garage and uh, set up the cameras and stuff, and the cabin's already warm. I warmed my hands with a heated steering wheel and uh, my backside with the heated seats, and I'm getting nice hot hair from the um, climate control system. That all turned on right away. It's separate from the engine, so the engine doesn't have to warm up because the engine doesn't exist. It's a motor. So there's just a heating unit. So it's like, uh, you know, electric unit you plug inside your house. The second you turn it on, it starts blowing warm air. So that's like a distinct advantage of an electric car in the winter is uh, you don't have to wait for anything to warm up to start warming you up. So anyway, 167 miles of range and um, and I've gone 0, 0.0 miles. Okay, I have driven just a little bit less than 30 miles, 28 miles, and it's mostly just been driving around my area a little bit. Generally speaking, the miles have my range has dropped about as much as you expect range to drop. It's more or less stood in line with what it said. So I started with whatever it was, 160 some, and now I have 136. I've kept the heat at 68. I had the heated seat on and uh, warmed up. Now I'm fine with it off. Same with the seat steering wheel. I've got my iPhone in the wireless charger underneath the uh, center console bin right here that's wirelessly charging and I'm listening to podcasts on my phone and using the using the entertainment system using the climate control system and driving so so far it's been completely comfortable but now I'm uh, gonna get on the road get on the interstate and uh, accumulate some real miles okay I am officially on the interstate more or less going with the flow of traffic in terms of speed. It's a little bit after 11 in the morning. I've gone 50 miles so far, showing 114 miles of battery charge left. And uh, there is an uh, Electrify America charging station, uh, I think about 80-ish miles from here. And uh, that's, my, that's my next stop. Okay, I am north of Flint, and I'm officially headed towards a charging station. The charging station is 40.7 miles away, and I have 66 miles of charge. All right, going over the top of the Zilwaukee Bridge, which is always kind of this like emotional transition from lower Michigan to upper Michigan even though obviously we're still in the lower peninsula for a couple hundred miles but uh, I'm crossing over the Zilwaukee Bridge right now but I have to admit the anxiety is a little bit on the high side I am now have 34 miles range left and uh, theoretically I'm about 10 miles from uh, the charging station so should be just fine but one thing that was interesting is once we got down to let's say less than a quarter charge the, the Tycon alerted me hey you're getting you're getting close uh, on charge should we help you find stations and I said sure and I looked it up and it actually had a pretty long list of places to go uh, different dealerships, Nissan dealerships, Audi dealerships, and other things like that, which gave me, you know, a decent number of options. And what was surprising about that was 
Uh, like I said, I've been using Electrify America. There's only there's only a few um, scattered throughout the state, and obviously most of them are in uh, Metro Detroit. And uh, but no, if if you expand your horizons even just the smallest bit, you have lots of options. And I think it's really important to remember, I'm in Michigan. I'm in Michigan, and I'm heading away from the biggest city in Michigan out to nothing but rural areas and small towns. It's beautiful up here. I absolutely love northern Michigan. But in terms of population centers and in terms of, you know, the latest trends and, you know, electric vehicles, yeah, this is not exactly the hotspot for those things. So <laughs> uh, to see that I have that many uh, number of options in this part of the country, and this is on a Saturday, no less. Yeah, that was a little bit surprising and also satisfying to see. 24 miles of range left and I am exiting the interstate. My destination is a mile and a half away. I have plenty of range. I never slowed down. I've gone almost 135 miles and uh, I've done all of this. It's never been warmer than 35 degrees outside and uh, I've never been colder than 68 degrees inside. There's the Meyer sign. Electrify America is supposed to be at that Meyer. Oh, that looks promising. Those look like charging stations. So what I see right now are Electrify America stations and then Tesla chargers right next to them. And look at that, they are all available. Who would have thought in Northern Michigan? <laughs> car is parked. I have 23 miles of range left and I'm at a 350 kilowatt Electrify America charger. I'm still parked at the Electrify America station but I am now have 85% charge and 175 miles of range and I actually turned the climate control off for a moment and uh, it popped up to 184 miles of range the nice little indication of how much range that takes but I'm also my hands are cold I'm gonna turn on the heated steering wheel and uh, I'm gonna have the heated seat on too so I'm gonna drop the range right back down I'm sure and uh, yeah, now heading home, it's going to be more straight route home. And I'm pretty confident that it's going to be easy in terms of charge. But, uh, you know, I was charging for 31 minutes and I uh, went from 11% charge to 85% charge. And the fastest it was charging was 156 kilowatt hours. Um, the, that was the rate of charge um, and then you know towards the end it got down to under 100 but you know it was never slower than that really and <clears throat> 31 minutes for another 150 miles of range you know not bad not bad at all and I was at a mire and there's there's plenty of things at a mire anyway yep back for the trip home and uh, EV life is a little bit different than uh, what I'm used to in terms of road trips, but really a lot less different than you'd probably think. Goodbye, Northern Michigan. I'll miss you, but it was nice to spend a few minutes together. All right, it is 3.30 in the afternoon and I am just a few miles from home now, uh, just on some back roads. And uh, I thought I would summarize the trip. You know, I have 68 miles of range left. So I'm guessing when I have around 65 when I pull in, I've gone, uh, and I'll have a picture of this at the end, I've gone 
just under 250 miles, which means I've gone just over 250 miles. And uh, and I stopped at one recharge station where I was plugged in for 31 minutes to get, you know, 60 some kilowatt hours worth of battery capacity added. And yeah, in the moment of charging, the 31 minutes did feel a little slow. I will admit that. but. I think if we were in a non-pandemic ridden world, I would have very easily filled that time just doing some shopping, getting myself something to drink, going to the bathroom, that kind of thing. That wouldn't have felt much different than uh, going to a gas station and going inside the convenience store of that gas station after I filled up and getting um, a few snacks, etc., etc. From there, it was an extremely pleasant experience to be in this car on a road trip like I mentioned at the start, the car warms up right away. You have access to, you know, I had access to heated seats, heated steering wheel, cooled seats if I wanted it. Um, my cell phone was charging and it was also plugged in. So I was listening to podcasts or listening to music. I had everything going, everything operating. And I had, um, you know, a uh, hundred, I did a longer way up there and I had you know, 140 miles uh, one way, and I still had 25, 24, 25 miles of range left. So it was a great, great experience. And I don't think any different than other experience I'd have in an internal combustion engine car. So really, it, I've come to the conclusion that EVs, especially this Porsche Taycan, is a better winter car than an internal combustion engine car because you have to wait less for the conveniences you want in the winter, like keeping warm. You have to worry less about things getting up to operating temperature and you just go about, you just go about your day. It's more convenient, it's less inconvenient to drive in the winter in one of these cars. And the only thing that you have to worry about is range. And we're now to the point where we have enough range and enough infrastructure to uh, not worry about that so much. I live in Michigan and I went to rural Michigan on this trip and I didn't have an issue with charging. I mean, think about that. So yeah, great, great car and uh, great EV, wonderful experience. And uh, I'm Robin Warner, thank you for watching.